just a quick video for you folks on the group who want to know how to uh, tear vector down and swap over the batteries. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial showing you how. You'll need to start by taking your treads off. Then on the wheels here, these just pop off. Just don't be shy with them, give them a little yank and they pop off, they're just little caps. Once you've got these wheel caps off, you'll see we've got a screw on each wheel here, on both sides. Again, just a screw in each wheel, take those screws out. Once you've got the screw out, the wheel itself will just pop off like that. And in the body itself, you've got one screw here, one screw here on this side. And on the other side, you've got one screw here, one screw down in here, and another one here. So two on one side, and then three on the other. Once you have those screws out, you'll notice the front panel here just pops off. When you pop it off, in the middle you've got a sensor. Make sure to detach the sensor there because it is just on a plug. Set that aside. Have some type of order and when you're setting everything out so uh, it makes it easy on you guys when you're putting it all back together as well on vector uh, at the back here this panel here will pop off just set that aside on vector's left hand side there's one screw just down in here I realise the lighting's not great in here uh, Hope you guys can see that. Take that one out. Now, to get his arms off, you need to put his arm in the up position. And what you'll find is his arms. Just tug around. Don't be shy of it. It's, uh, it is quite stiff to come off sometimes. One of his arms out. Just like that. And this whole arm will come out. There will be a shaft that runs between them. Just a little plastic piece that connects the whole thing. His whole arm system uh, runs off one motor, just right here. The rest is just on a pivot system. Next step is on his head here. You want to take a, a screwdriver and just like that, pop these off. Underneath them, you've got this black reflective surface. You want to pop that off as well. Again, don't be shy with it, just get the job done. both of them off. <clears throat> On either side of his head you've got one screw, two screw, same on this side. Take those both screws out. Once you've got that done and the screws out the head, turn them on his left hand side and if you just pull his head, half of his head comes off. Next, grab his screen, be careful not to touch the LCD 
on them as it is very uh, mark. It's not mark resistant at all. There's, as soon as you touch it, you'll you'll have marks on it, and you'll not be able to wipe them back off. So beware. Then the other side will just fall away. Like so, and you're left with his speaker on top and his main screen. Then in here on this plug, you want to pull that plug out, be very careful with it. Uh, kind of stiff there so be very careful with it you can see how thin the, the wires are so once you've got this whole face off I set that aside now in here you've got two screws just trying to focus two screws, one here and one in there. You've also got a screw just right under here. If you take that one out and these two here, once you've got these two screws out and this one on the side of this piece here, be very careful at the back here you've got a ribbon cable so once you lift this off this top portion here will just lift off and once you lift it off be very careful not to stress this ribbon cable out in fact if you just take it from the bottom and pull it out stick his whole back plate and microphone at the side there this will expose the boards inside you've got one more plate here running up the back of where his head was if you just give it a little play around with it will come out just like that stick it aside now gently give them a little wiggle will fall out you'll see while putting it back together exactly where the the weight goes it just sits in and then on the back of the board here just put the weight at the side on the back of the board here we have his original battery You can see the red wire and the black wire and these are the two terminals we'll be swapping over uh, we just want to desolder the old battery and uh, we have the new 600 milliamp batteries here which are quite a bit bigger than Vector's uh, 320 milliamp stock battery
And there we go, one 250 milliamp battery desoldered and one 600 milliamp battery soldered straight to the board. And that just fits back under there like that. Now if you, re if you reverse the process, uh, you should end up with a, a whole vector again and uh, his battery time or run time should be significantly improved. Thanks for watching. The weight that fell out while you were disassembling it uh, just slots back in here right behind the battery. All back together. With his new upgraded battery. 